look, we're matching. That's what I look. There was a memo because there was color coordination going on. <laughs> I love it. Well, <laughs> Me too. How's it going? Good. I'm excited to talk to you because you are like the voice of reason <laughs> as a caseworker. So how would you describe your relationship in this case with the character Edwin? Edwin. I, I don't know why my brain was going to the page. Everybody's been jumping straight to the page. So with Edwin, um, let's see. Mal is... As you said, um, he's the foundation. He's the most secure attachment style of the attachment styles and of the characters. He's grounded. He, um, you know, he loves his job. Uh, he loves the service that he provides. But there's a specific, uh, there's something specific about Edwin that Mal is just really rooting for him to win. I mean, he's rooting for all of his clients, but he really is rooting for Edwin. Um, and then, of course, as the series develops, there is this situationship lovish lovish i call it a love is triangle between mal edwin and Paige. um you know he's the rock for edwin and he's also a rock for Paige, and he supports their uh recalibration especially after uh, uh edwin going home so um whether it's ethical or not that ain't my business that's, only, that's for y'all to decide but um uh, it's complicated it's complicated and it's real it's just real life so so i take it your character is put in some tough positions i'd say so i'd say he's you know he's is there's some tough there's some sticky situations I'd, I'd call it maybe sticky sticky tough but um you know that's life <laughs> and so mm -hmm. kudos to tracy and the writers for being able to uh, talk about these important topics and also keep the complexity of humanity in a real way, in a light way, in a comedic way, in a fun way, in a provocative way, in a sexy way, uh, in a real life way. What was the part of this that won you over to want to be a part of it? Oh, multiple things. Tracy, Yvette, who I love and adore, Kerry Washington, Delray Lindo, Onyx, uh, the script was great. The content is good. I, I, what I was looking for at the time when this project came along was I wanted to work with people that I loved, admired, and respected, and I wanted to do something that was good. Um, and at that moment, at the time too, when the job came, I needed to check, and it was this or OnlyFans. Those were my two options at that time, and I chose this, and uh, I think I made the right decision. I think so too. Thank you. And the comedy, not to mention, is it's hilarious. It's oh. it's, it's it's like it's like a delicate topic, but the the humor just opens up. Yeah. So how was it for you to bring that on board and be on board with it? Yeah, I mean, I love uh, comedy is my favorite. Um, but above all, you know, story is always first for me. I just love a good story, whether it's drama or comedy. Um, but comedy, there's a special place in my heart, you know, with comedy. I love comedy. And so, uh, ooh, somebody just sneezed out there. Get your mask! Uh, comedy is great. And to be able to, you know, talk about these things in this way, and um, I think that's the most effective way to, to really get people to listen is um, through comedy. So. I'm interested to see what uh how it resonates with the people. It's a multi-generational show. There's a little bit of everything for everybody. And um, yeah, I'm excited. Great. Well, I'm <laughs> glad you chose this, okay? Make us laugh. <laughs> Me too. Thank and you. And not only fans. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Maybe, you know, you know, we'll see what happens. If we get a season two, then I'm right. Postponed. <laughs> Postponed. Postponed. Stay tuned. <laughs> well, take care. Thank you so much for your time. Congratulations. Thank you. You too. Take You're care. Welcome. Bye bye. Be well.